the lumbering coach clattered through the night. Monsieur Le Gray was eager to reach his plantation and secure his dusky captain, but the hoofbeats were coming closer. I'll teach that uppity wench who's master, he vowed. Chantal jounced in a drug-induced stupor, powerless to save herself. But the valiant hero was determined to rescue the lady in distress. He pulled his snorting steed abreast of the coach, then snaked out one hand and grabbed the ribbons. Hauling on the reins, he halted the coach. The sudden jolt woke Chantal from her torpor. Quickly, Jean-Jacques dismounted and bared his sword. Monsieur Legray jumped down from the box and rushed him, but Jean-Jacques stood firm. He parried Legree's thrust, forced his blade sideways and down. Then, with a flick of his powerful wrist, he disarmed the foe. In an instant, Jean-Jacques trimmed Legray's beard. Then he lashed out with one boot and toppled the plantocrat. At your service, mademoiselle, he bowed. Sweet Chantal gazed at Jean-Jacques with warm admiration. Gently, Jean-Jacques took her hand and swung her up into his saddle. Then he set off into the night, cradling the lady in his arms.